Have you ever had that feeling where all of a sudden you've finished a bunch of stuff and it's just, uh, it's exciting, right? Exciting to deliver a big project, finish a big portion of something. I'm Pat Sloan. Thank you for being in my neighborhood this weekend for my fireside chat. So I've had a lot of projects going on. I do have a lot of projects going on. You guys know that. Uh, if you've been around for a little while, it's like, ah, a lot of stuff. But I had some big uh, deliveries. And so when I have a lot of big deliveries, I have to stay pretty focused and sort of like, you know, I'm on the computer a lot. Like I'm pretty much chained to the monitor, chained to the keyboard, but that's okay. It all gets done. And then uh, after that, it is like, whoo, yay, <laughs> on to other things, uh, which is usually more deadlines because that's the way it is when you run a business, deadlines, but it's okay. This has been just a glorious weekend. We had a lovely brunch with my family today. Um, so I also have a question. When you do brunch, when you say brunch, uh, <laughs> when you go, do you go like at 11? Do you go at one? Uh, what are you eating? Are you like going to brunch, are you eating eggs and like all that little breakfast foods and you know, omelets and you know, like that, or when you have brunch do you eat like regular lunch it just happens to be called brunch so it's always it's always curious because my dad loves the omelets and all that stuff whereas i'm like give me real lunch you know i'm especially when we're eating at 11 12 30 you know i don't i'm not into i like breakfast foods sometimes but i want them early i'm not a you know breakfast for lunch or dinner person at all it's not my favorite meal. Uh, I like the other foods better. Okay, so that is my that was my day. But it's been go gorgeous. My forsythias are looking beautiful. I can see them out in my studio. When I took the picture the other day with the forsythia behind me, that's what's right outside my studio uh, door because my studio door is the door to the deck because I work. This is the uh, official family room space of the house, uh, of our home. So that's where I am. So I have some cool things. I thought I also, I'm going to fire up. I've got the um, jubilant here on the table. And so I will, actually I'm gonna do a little bit of sewing today too, just to show you just a touch, uh, a little bit. See how that works up here. Uh, <laughs> some fun, fun things. So I was thinking to myself the other day, isn't it like you think to yourself and all of a sudden it's like, boom, something happens. So I, Got in the new, the March um, selection from Fat Quarter Shop of the colors. You know, March is green. That's fabulous, right? But, you know, of course, and green for spring, um, green is perfect. But I had actually been thinking I didn't have enough variety of green when I was doing the tulip stems because I was looking for, you know, a little different green. And it seemed to have a large group, this this one shade, and then another large group in the other shade and nothing in between. So I am so happy, so happy to, to have this. Let's take a look and uh, see what we got here. We'll move my iced coffee out of the way. So when you open these up, this makes it a little easier like this. And I will scoot in here so we can we can really see. So I've got what I've got here is these this green this shade of green. This is something that I just was missing. The, the, these here. This whole like from here down. This this well here you can't see that grouping, this grouping. So I am thrilled that the color bundle for the month has it. And I love that little blue with it. Look! Oh my goodness! Okay, I'll hold that one up. Look, 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 look at these little kids. That is so precious. I just love novelty prints. I'm a sucker for them. What do we got on here? Oh, there's ponies. The ponies have turned around to the right side up. And some bows, some another small, that, that's a really useful small print. I think this is Christopher's um, fabric line. And then these are the color, these are the greens I have a lot of, but, but not really down in this dark, darker shade. I have a lot of lighter ones. And there I like it with the red in it. And there's a little bit bigger flower. These are some dots, 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 dots. I like the geometric here. And I have, I like that it's linear because that's really useful. Some other sort of small scale. 
And that's another green that I don't have. I just literally do not have any, any of these two at all. So this is a perfect bundle for me. And I will link everything that I'm talking about so that, uh, so that you can, you know, you can find it. So I, I'll do that here, you know, down below. I have discovered that if you are watching uh, YouTube or even, I think Facebook, you're okay. But if you're watching on YouTube on an app, which means your phone or your tablet where you're not actually logging in via a website, it's converting it to use the app. The app has not as many features. So that means many of you can't see any of the information that I'm giving you. So I am going to be posting that at my website, blog.patsloan.com, and I will have it over there. Uh, so you can always go uh, and get this and watch the show there too and get all the information. So I'm going to all the time now do the fireside chat over there, you know, load it up after it, after it runs. Because I didn't realize that on the app you couldn't, you couldn't see any of the information. You also can't comment. A lot of people can't comment on their app. And that might be dependent on technology, like which phone you have. I don't know on that part. But a lot of you can't comment. So this is pretty useless. You just can watch, uh, which is okay. But you can't interact or um, any of those other things. You can't find the information. So that's, uh, that's what happens when you just use uh, an app. You don't get all the features of whatever it is you're, you're looking at. Just so you know, just so you know. Now I had a, uh, no, this needs to go over here. It's quick. So I had this book. I think I showed you, showed you the big book of lap quilts that came in. My, I have two quilts in it. This is mine. And then there's another triangle quilt in there because you know I like triangles. But I thought I'd show you the inside of a few of the quilts. And then I have a question because there is some fabric that I want to use. And I thought, well, maybe I can take use you know, from one of these, these projects here. So I did, do you do this? Do you, <clears throat> do you use fabric as your tabs? You know, like, because we have it. So I found this one by my friend, Susan Guzman. And I thought I wanted something very simple for, I have layer cakes. So this takes a little bit longer pieces than layer cakes, but I might, uh, just piece it or use the longer pieces might just add in and get a piece of fabric from the line to go with it and cut the rest of them. I don't know, but I really like that one. Uh, it's, it's very, I like that it's that strong geometric and it's not uh, block based. For those of you who don't like half square triangles, there's, there you go. This one is super cool. So if you don't like applique, you can leave that part off and just, it has, there it is in a, the small, you can see the small picture, but that is super cool block. This is all by different authors. And I'm sorry, I don't remember. I didn't memorize who this one, Cheryl Wall. So they're all different people. <clears throat> These little Sherbert houses are so cute. They just are incredibly darling. And this one is by, um, Oh yeah, this is Kimberly Jolly and uh, my friend from the Fat Quarter Shop. She owns the Fat Quarter Shop. And let's see, there was one more back here I wanted to show you. Ah, get that up there. There we go. The uh, stars and the strips. You know, I just I think that's a really good one. That could be what I could do the layer cakes with too. So this book has how many? I'm sure it tells me. I'm trying to read upside down. 51, 51 patterns in it. That it's, these are super good value, these big book, the big book of. So I will link to this one and I'll link to the others because they have like baby books and all, you know, all different kinds. So here is my dilemma. Let me show you my dilemma. And then, oh goodness, I don't know where the other stuff is that I was gonna show you. I'll find it. Okay, here's my dilemma. I have, see this peach, this peach fabric. Let's just look here together. Hold on one second because we need to chat. It's like, <laughs> do you ever find that you have purchased like an incredibly large amount of some fabric? Like you don't even know why you have that much. That is me. This, I have yardage and yardage and yardage of peach. Yes, I can put them on backs 
but I thought, you know, this is a solid and it stretches our budget to take the solid and put it with our prints because the solids cost less and you and you often can find and store up some solids on uh, when they're like on specials for the month because Fat Quarter Shop was always doing basics. So it's really great, you can stock up on it. Okay, so I'm trying to find fabric that will use this orange, like a pair it up and do a quilt like it's in, like in the book. I'm like thinking there has to be, you know, one that some fabric line that it works with so this is betty's luncheonette which i got in the other week and look 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 i'm going to show you this i am sure that i can make this work what do you think see this is um all the violet craft designed this line and it's in honor of her grandma um Betty and so the whole line is kind of got that 50s vibe of the luncheonette and it's very cool uh, but I'm thinking that you know that goes with that one fabric but I think it could go with the others in there like there's this kind of chartreuse and of course that pink I think it looks great with that pink tell me it looks good okay tell me because I need to use this with something there's one with that gray I think it looks fabulous with the gray that little turquoise in it all right so that is that is one of my options. The other one to do, I need to sew up, that I really want to sew up is this um, uh, Harry and uh, Alice from my buddy Amanda Herring. And this line is purely Americana. Like, look, look, look. So Americana. It's just fabulous. She's got big, huge, look at these huge roses on white. There it is on blue. And I'm thinking of pairing that with another solid that I have a lot of which is this yellow, <clears throat> kind of like a butter yellow, but it's a little stronger than a butter yellow. It's not like that really mild. So we'll see. We'll see if that's a good choice. <clears throat> okay, there's what I was looking for. <laughs> let, me, let me get this. All right, I wanna show you what was in the, okay, so, so Lee, tell me, sorry, I hit the mic. <clears throat> Tell me if you think that orange went, uh, that sherbet kind of orange. <laughs> Just say yes. Just say yes, it goes, because I need to use it with something. I have so much of it. Um, <laughs> do you ever do that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the Fat Quarter Shop did their reveal, so now I can look. Really, I do not look in the box. I open it, and I look at the cover, which... <clears throat> everybody's already seen because they show you that part they give you a theme so this theme is Paris and I tell you I just you say Paris and I'm like I'm in have you been to Paris <clears throat> sorry about the cough mm -hmm. so if you've been to Paris let me know I think that'd be really fun to know if you were there I lived in Europe as a uh, kid and as a teenager and I got to go to Paris twice once with girls <clears throat> we all took the train because we lived in belgium so we took the train down to paris and we got some teeny weeny little room that we rented for two or three days and <clears throat> just went just went all over paris it was absolutely fabulous and then i went down a second time with another girlfriend because her parents were staying there. And so we went down and I think we slept on the floor in their hotel room. <laughs> we did that with her parents when they were in Amsterdam too. We just took the train up, slept on the floor, and then we drove back with them. <laughs> so it's like when you're a kid, I'm not sleeping on anybody's hotel floor now. No, thank you. So what's in here? Let's see. Let's see the fun stuff. Remember, you always get a discount for something in the future, which is on the back side of this. So I can't show you what it is, but it's awesome. It'll be for Jolly Bars. So you'll get a discount on Jolly Bars. Uh, so what do we got? They give you a little guide that tells you everything that came in it. Ooh. So spool huggers. These are to keep your spools all nice and tidy. Oh, my God. Oh, good grief. Look at that. Scissors, you know I am addicted to scissors. These are all locked in and everything. These are Tim Holtz, he does uh, crafts and he's always got really cool products. So that is wonderful. Okay, what do we got here? The iron rest. Let's open that. I don't know what that is. 
I think I know what it is. I think it's to put down for you have an iron that doesn't have feet that you can uh, like lay it flat. There we go. Let's see. Come on out. Oh yeah, that's what it is. See? Oh, it's so cute and it's turquoise. What's it say? So while the iron's hot. Can you read it? Yeah. That is cool. So you would lay this down and put your iron on it. Then we got some cute fabric. And who is the fabric from this time? Oh, it's from Joanna Figueroa. Yay! I love her stuff. We got a pattern. We got a pattern. We got the the last barn pattern. If you're making those, and this bundle of fabric with a pattern that can do it. Oh, so this is the Jolly Bar. Yeah, so they just rolled it rather than coming flat. Normally they're flat when you purchase them, but they wouldn't fit in the box. So um, they rolled them up, which is super cute. So this is her new line, Chantilly, which I think is gorgeous. It's got, can you see, I want, it's got strawberries. I'm like addicted to strawberries on fabric. So this is a great box. So I just love the turquoise. And of course it said Paris, so of course it has to be great. I just thought this was, this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move it over here. What I wanna do is bring my jubilant over. I'm gonna see what we can do here. See if we can do a little sewing together. First, let's, let's chat about it. Let me tell you what I got. So, <laughs> you know how I do the quilts with the squares, right? So I'm doing the quilts with just squares, you know, and I build these strips and then I showed you the green one, which you were helping me name. Here's a red one in progress. And even this week for the flower bouquet block, I had us do, had us do this, you know, all squares plus having you sew like extra things like, and look at that. See, sew your scraps together you know, so that you just use up these little bitty pieces. Here's another one over here. Use up the little bitty pieces. So for these guys, I want to show you my process. And I have that on the website link. You know, I'll link it to you again here. But um, it's, you know, it's, it's not rocket science. But I thought I'd just show you because everybody's like, oh, we want to sew. Uh, <laughs> It's always hard to sew on camera when you're doing other things too. If you just come on camera to sew, then I set up all the cameras in a different way. Um, but I do all my shows like straight through. I'm not doing any editing. I'm and or you know basically I turn this on and I run it. And so uh, you know you get real life here. This is just like you were sitting with me here. It's not any different. There's no fast action or anything else. <laughs> I cough and everything, you know, real life. So I build these units. So let's talk about it. I build these units six at a time, you know, six pieces, three red, I'm doing now three red, three uh, cream based. So here's one where I sewed, sewed pieces together. Uh, and I will do, I think I do about 19 of these sets before I sew them together. Because what I'm doing is as I'm sewing other things, I'm doing these uh, squares. And then when I'm sewing them together, I have these long sets. I believe these, this is what the 19 looks like, this one. And I have a whole, a whole group of, of these, you can see, already done up. So let me show you the kind of the nitty gritty. Get this out of the way show you the nitty gritty of this. We'll turn on the jubilant. So for those of you who are not familiar with Baby Lock, let me tell you that Baby Lock has an entire uh, set of machines that they came out with called the Genuine Collection. So these are the Genuine. Let me just lift this up so we can talk. It's like <laughs> so these are the Genuine machines. And what that means is they're, uh, they have certain features, certain size. This is one of the largest of the Genuine. Most of them are smaller than this. Whoops, they knock something. 
Hop, 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 hop. It's easier since I'm back here. I'm just going to turn it off, turn it back on again. Okay, I think I hit the knob that changed, changed it to three. Three is the center, so that's what I want uh, for what I'm going to do. Anyway, <laughs> see, I told you this is real life. You get to see that I knocked the buttons. So the, the, um, the Jubilant has a blanket stitch. Uh, it has um, a, a needle threader. It has uh, the up and down. It's, you can sew without your foot pedal by hitting the start and stop and, you know, has all kinds of controls. So it has a lot of things. It's pretty full featured for this. And the prices on these are extremely good. I will link you up to this machine where you can go watch some videos on it. And you can purchase them online. So if you purchase this one, it, it does uh, support me uh, and my family uh, through the links. Uh, or you can just go to your dealer and you can check them all out because there's other ones. There's ones that, these are like what I call travel size too. But this one is, is more than travel. It does so much stuff. So let me, let me just show you this part. Now, when I'm working and creating these strip sets, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I have a basket here. Here's one in progress. So I have this basket of light stacks of lights. See, they're just stacks. They're two and a half inch squares. That's what I'm doing. Like you could do two inch squares. I do two and a half because I can kind of use these for other things, you know, other projects. They're just two and a half seems to come in handy. Then I have red. So I have a whole stack of red. So I'm just constantly when things get low or I have weird shapes to get you know rid of, I will cut. Uh, two and a half inch squares. So if I am sewing this while I'm doing something else, I will take, so I've got to do a light to a red, and then I have, let's see, I'm getting closer here. There we go. So on the machine, I have the the foot that's on there is a quarter inch foot. Here, I'll show it to you. This is a pretty standard quarter inch, whoops, pretty standard quarter inch foot with an edge guide for um, the baby lock, but lots of machines have the same look, looking uh, you know, foot. So it's a pretty common looking foot if you like that. I like the edge guide on it. You know, it's your preference how you want to do your quarter inch. So I will have, I don't have this, this is a speed control here. Because I'm using the button, I am putting it about in the middle, which isn't very fast. And then I need to put the presser foot down and I will hit the button and I'm sewing that one through. And if I were chain sewing, I would just keep going. Like I could do a whole bunch of these as chain sewing so that I would, you know, have, you know, a unit. But basically I'm doing this while I'm some, doing something else because I would sew this as like the beginning or the end of another project. So then I would take like my other project. Maybe I was doing the tulips and the tulip parts would start coming through here until I finished. And then when the tulip part was done, you know, I would run another one through. Or often what I'm doing is I'm actually taking, taking the guy off the back side. I will cut it off the back side. So now I have four and I want to add, I want to add uh, another piece. So this is a batik, so it can go either way. So I will just put it on here and sew it through. And I've already checked that, you know, this is doing a quarter inch seam allowance uh, with this foot and this needle position, which you always have to check for all your machines. And the, re the way I check a quarter inch seam is this, uh, let, me, let me just take this out a minute. Needle up and take it over to the thread cutter. So if I have Here we go. To check the, I have a tutorial on this too. So, whoop, get down here. So I have a tutorial on this too, but if you are checking for that, you've sewn two pieces on there and this middle thing should be two inches. 
Uh, I've sewn, they're all two and a half. So when I measure just the white square there, because it's got one on either side, which means the seam allowance is already taken up, it should be just the two inches. And it is, so I know that I'm sewing correctly. So that's pretty good. So that is how I process through. Like if I were going to sit here and sew a bunch of things today, you know, I would have everything organized. So I would have all the projects, all the parts of the project laid out and then sit and run through on, uh, on the Jubilant or on my Solaris, on the big machine, the big girl machine, which is on the other side of the table there. You know, when I'm on that side of the table, I've got uh, the Solaris with all, all the features um, and that one I don't don't move at all. It stays here inside the table. Now this guy, like if I'm gonna go sewing with my friends, I could take the Jubilant with me and it would just be perfect. It'd be perfect for straight, you know, just patchwork. Or if I wanted to do a little applique, I could do that. It can, you know, you can free motion quilt in here too. It just has a little bit smaller throat plate than some of the other machines, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. It's very doable. Okay. Now, I want to show you, I want to remind you, basically, remind, remind, that we're doing the Tulip Fest, and if you, whoops, it's over here, so I, I totally am doing purple, and then maybe totally, maybe I'll do yellow. <laughs> so here's the yellow. I still love the yellow and actually I have lots of yellow fabric, a lot more yellow fabric than purple. Uh, but I am going to do a four blocker first in the purple. And I still seriously think that I should make some tulips that go with Norm and, and, and uh, Nanette. I have to get back to Norm and Nanette. I've still got Norm's faces in progress, but I think that there should be a tulip or two in their quilt. You know, so that means I will make them with this background that I'm using for that quilt. So I'll link you up to Norman Nanette because I'm sure you also want to make Norman Nanette. <laughs> They're so cute. So here are my purples. I don't really have any others. This is just wild that I don't. Remember, this is from the book Celebrate the Seasons, and we're doing the Tulip Fest. So I have a couple of purples that one of my guests sent me. This is her fabric line. And I'm thinking that this, I might do one, like a whole flower with this, or a heart, you know, with this in the middle. And then I have these other purples, which mostly I've already used in my block. Where's my block? Here, All right? So these are a lot of the ones that I've already used because really that's it. But if I'm only going to do four purples, this is plenty. I can definitely do probably four purples without even having added these other ones. I mean, four, four tulips. So I have plenty of purple. I don't really need any more. So it's just a matter of making them. And I, and I did order more of dots because I wasn't sure that what I had would be enough. And here, here's the darker green. So like now I have this new package of green. Where'd it go? Yeah, so, so I have now, they're, they're not olive except for like that one I could add, like this plaid. That's eh, not quite olive enough, but I think I can squeeze all the stems out of this. So I think I'm gonna do all the stems the same on mine. So tonight, I will probably make another tulip. I don't know what the four blocker, whether I'll do one as all like, like this fabric, one of them, um, and then do the other three patchwork like this, or if I might do one that's a heart like that, and then the, you know, the patchwork, I haven't quite decided, because I could do like a heart with that on this, you know, the heart in the middle of the flower, and then the dots. So with only four blocks, there's not a lot of you know, you're not going to mess around too much with it. You know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to decide on four, you know. <laughs> and I did see a few of you have started making blocks and they look fantastic. They look fantastic. On my uh, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan group, there is a tab there. There's these categories and I put tulips as one. So you can go, if I see tulips, I'll tag it. Or when you write about yours, just put tulips. Just go ahead and you can tag it yourself. 
And along those lines, there's also a um, tab called Tips. And so if you want to go see, I've been tagging people who have been giving really great tips in my group. And so if you look under there, you'll find some things. So I just scrolled here. I had my, put the laptop up and I just scrolled and I found one that I thought was really nifty. Um, Renee Kate, she uh, is, she uses a laundry hamper, like a tall laundry hamper that has a lid on it. And in there she puts her binding and then there's like a hole that for the handle, you know, like the handle. And so she, I don't know whether she took the handle off or she made another hole, not quite sure. Maybe it's just a hand holder, like to open it. So she's running her binding through that. So she has all of the binding just sort of tossed in there. It doesn't have to be so neat. And then as she's making it, it streams out of there. People also use like, I've used big canisters to do a very similar thing. I have this great big um, crock, I guess, I'd be, you know, like a heavy crock, and I put my binding in there before so that I pull, I just put it up on the floor, and as I pull it up, it just stays in there. And there's all kinds of other mechanisms for cute binding or easy binding that are fun to, fun to do. So let's talk about, I've been doing these giveaways because I think it's fun, and I, uh, and I enjoy it, and I'm going to keep doing them. Uh, so we just had to, I, I had to think through a way to make this uh, work. Uh, we're basically going to go back to what I've always done, which is make all the giveaways on my website uh, because that's easier, particularly with my newfound knowledge that a lot of you are watching on an app and you can't make comments. So you will have to go to my website anyway uh, now to, to leave the comment. So that'll be, that'll be good. And I will put the link here, but it's blog.patsalone.com. It'll be the post from today. And I'm going to create, uh, there's a tab for fireside chats. So you can always see the latest fireside chat. I will load this in there uh, for you to see. And it'll have all the things I've talked about. So I will have that as a, uh, a thing that I do after I'm finished. You know, I'll go load all that up there. Um, yeah. So I have last week, I finally got my, my winner contacted me. Somebody mentioned that if I, let, because I didn't have an email, I, you know, people weren't following along or hearing or reading or whatever. And so somebody said, well, maybe if you leave a comment to their comment, they'll get a notice. So I tried that and that worked. <laughs> so yay. So last week's prize went. That means I have this week's prize. So this is the fabric and the cross stitch pattern and the floss winders. And this is going to drum roll. So I hope you're listening. This is for Anita Jackson. And my question last week, you, you guys answered a lot of things. So one of the things was, you know, where should I host the giveaway? And now I've decided it's going back to my website. Um, but also Anita told me that, um, you know, she said, she doesn't always get to watch everything right away because life gets busy, but she will catch up. She always comes back in and catches up. And I recognize Anita's uh, profile picture. Hi, Anita, because you post a lot. And I love, I love hearing what you say and uh, getting to know you. She also says that she doesn't have much purple fabric and that she went and got, went looking for it and she found one sandwich bag of, of purple fabric. <laughs> So Anita, we need a club. We need a purple, purpleless fabric club. You know, what's wrong with us? So, so that, Anita, this, this, Anita, this is for you. Um, so hopefully you will see my note. Okay, so now, this time we're going to go over to my website. Okay, so I'm gonna train you to go over there now and, uh, and, and uh, or, order or like comment rather. Also, you can always you write me at pat at patsloan.com. So I need your mailing address, Anita. So this week, I have a collection of goodies from, oh, it's just this is a big pile. This is to entice you. So one of the Pin Pal books from my publisher, Martingale, and a charm pack from my friends, Jane and Fran. A spool of or 50 weight orofill and this nifty tool it's a four-in-one uh, tool that has like seam rippers and stiletto and 
You can use the presser, like, you know, the finger, like, instead of finger pressing, you can use the end there. And then there's the seam ripper, jack, jack the seam ripper. So this is, and then there's another pokey tool, like, on that point there. So anyways, this whole collection. So what you do is you're going to go and leave me a comment and tell me what, tell, tell me if I can use this, where'd it go, okay. <laughs> Tell me if you liked this combo, the luncheonette, the luncheonette with the peach. And if you have a favorite layer cake pattern, list that too, okay? Because this is a layer cake, so I think I'm going to make it easy on myself and find a layer cake pattern. I'm probably going to look in the layer cake, the, the Perfect 10 book um, that I have, and do one from in there. So there we go. Do you like the Sherbert orange with it? And if you have a favorite layer cake quilt, tell me what it is. Um, or just tell me something. Hey, I'm easy. This is an easy one. I just want to get a new process going for, for this. <laughs> so, this has been fun. I love catching up every week on my fireside chat. Uh, and as I go along, I'm going to develop it. It's at last, they're about 30, 35 minutes long. Uh, and I think I will try doing a sewing one down the road, but right now I have a bit of deadline issues. So uh, that'll be in a little bit. Uh, but when I do, I'll probably end up, you know, I have to get the camera behind me so that it's like, comes down, can come down over my shoulder while I'm sewing rather than sewing to the side like, like this was. Have a great evening. I'm so glad you're here and sign up for my newsletter. I'll have a link down there. I'll have a link on my page for that, my website, and I will see you online, everybody. Bye-bye.